this is like the easiest thing you could ever do. Let's say um, there's something in your shot that you were like, crap, the light is hitting it wrong, or I didn't catch it on the day, or, you know, you're doing a YouTube vlog and you're like, why is that there? It is so distracting and I didn't notice it. Hey, we're human. It happens. Everybody misses something. Ask uh, Game of Thrones. So uh, let's say these buttons right here on this actor, I'm like, God, they're just reflecting wrong. They look, they're distracting. It's taken away from, you're like, oh, what are these shiny things down here? We're just going to tackle one at a time, but you can do both. So let's look at how to remove objects really quick and track them. So if they move in the shot, you know, your, your mask doesn't move. Now, there are other ways to do this. You can do it in Fusion. That's a whole different process through painting and some other different ways. But what I'm going to do is a real quick, let's say I don't have time for that. I'm not going to sit here and do Fusion, yada, yada. I just want to remove those buttons. Uh, we're going to do one of the buttons, but I want to remove those buttons, right? So we're going to go right now. We're in the timeline. So we want to go over and we want to go to the color page. And you see, oh, cheating. I already, I already, I already gave it away. Uh, by the way, fun fact, if you push down on the, the rolly button on your mouse, you can drag that. It took me forever to learn that. Uh, so just a little side note for you. Anyway, real quick video. So let's see. Here are the buttons we want removed. OK, how do we do it? So over here, you've got your nodes. You see, I cheated over here, but we're going to look over in the we are in the uh, effects tab right here. So you've got your effects tab at the corner. Let's go into that and let's type in. We know we want to remove an object, so object removal will have it up right there. OK, so here is the button. Let's remove it. So first thing we need to do is we need to go down here and we need to get a mask. So we want to go down to our mask window. I'm going to do a circle just because that is a circular object. Let's uh, and we got to make it way small, make it way small, make it way small. And then we're going to zoom back in using our wheel on our mouse. And let's just get it right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but right around it. Good. Let's give the mask a little breathing room. So let's uh, make it a little soft around the edges. There we go. We've got it in there. Now you're not done yet. You want to track it, right? Because he moves a bit. So we don't want the mask to stay still and him go all over. So go next to the tracking. And then I am a fan of this. This is a new update in DaVinci. So you can just hit this button. You used to have to do it forward, then go back to the point, do it backwards. This will do it both ways for you. So it tracks it forward and it tracks it backwards. So let's do that. And you see, boom, that's going to go backwards. Got it. So we've got it tracked, right? So now that we've got the button tracked, uh, we're going to go to our object removal in the effects and we're going to bring it in. Boom. Now, nothing's happened. Why is that? Well, there's a couple things you can do. Um, so you can do first an analysis. You'll see scene analysis. I would do this if there's motion because you want it to look at everything around what you're tracking and what you're trying to remove so it can take in as much information, especially if it's moving. If it's stationary, like let's say you removed a light switch in the background when you were doing an interview uh, video or something, then you can do assume no motion and that will make it happen faster. So um, for us, it's moving. So we're going to an analyze the scene and boom, you'll see it said, OK, we removed it. We looked at it. We looked at the clip. Here we go. So boundary you can pick. Is it in the background? Is it an object? Uh, I'm going to leave it for boundary because that seems to work fine. And then you can kind of mess with the area, mess with the blend mode. We're not going to do any of that. So you want to go down to clean plate. And what that does is it tells uh, DaVinci, hey, make, you know, make on the mask. Just take anything around that, blend it in, make it work. Um, and you can do the clean plate internal, gray image or external. I usually do internal and then hit build clean plate. Boom. It is gone. And as you move, it tracked it. And that is gone. And now he's down to one button. So now we could do it with that. You could probably wrangle both of them in there and do this. That way, if you didn't like both buttons, you know, it they're both gone. But that one that was bothering me, completely gone. And without me talking through it, I, we probably could have done this in like a minute. So there you go, guys. How to remove objects real quick. DaVinci Resolve color page.